Hello everyone, my name is Arlen and welcome again for another math video. This video is about proving trigonometric identities. For number one, we're going to show that the tangent of theta plus cotangent of theta is equivalent to secant of theta times cosecant of theta. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to prove this identity by first manipulating the left hand side. Okay. I will do that because I realize that this is a sum and our goal is to convert the sum into a product because the right hand side is a product. Okay, manipulating the left hand side we have tangent of theta is equal to sine theta over cosine of theta by definition and also cotangent of theta is cosine of theta all over sine theta okay now upon combining these two fractions we will have for the denominator as cosine theta sine of theta and for the numerator we will have cosine theta sine theta divided by cosine theta will have sine theta times another sine theta we will have sine squared theta okay and for the next one similarly we will have cosine we will have cosine squared theta okay the numerator will be 1 since this is a fundamental trigonometric identity okay and let's just copy the denominator cosine theta sine of theta and now if we split this into two fractions we will have 1 cos over cosine of theta times 1 over sine of theta okay but what is 1 over cosine of theta Okay, by definition, 1 over cosine of theta is secant of theta. Similarly, 1 over sine of theta is cosecant of theta. And we're done. We have shown that the left-hand side is equivalent to this, which is what we wish to show. Okay, let's move on to the next trigonometric identity. For number 2, we want to show that, okay, sine theta all over 1 plus cosine of theta plus 1 plus cosine of theta all over sine theta is equivalent to 2 cosecant of theta. In here, we're going to manipulate the left-hand side since this is more complicated, okay? Basically, the left-hand side is more complicated, so we will manipulate it, okay? The left-hand side is equivalent to... Okay, the technique that I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first term of the left-hand side by 1 minus cosine of theta because I know that when I do that, when I multiply the numerator and the denominator by 1 minus cosine theta, I will get a special result on the denominator because this is 1 plus cosine theta and this is 1 minus cosine theta. Later on, okay, I will write that it is equal to something special, okay, which I will write later. So for the numerator, I will not multiply them out because I will get a special result later okay so 1 plus cosine of theta times 1 minus cosine of theta is precisely 1 minus cosine squared of theta right but this is equivalent to sine squared of theta right by the fundamental trigonometric identity okay so 1 minus cosine squared is sine squared of theta. So I'll put that here. Okay. 
as I've explained earlier. So I'll just copy the next term, 1 plus cosine of theta divided by sine of theta. Okay, for the first term, we can have 1 sine cancel out. So this will cancel out with 1 sine here. So we will be left with just sine theta. Okay, 1 sine theta cancelled out. So now this is equivalent to 1 minus cosine of theta divided by sine of theta. Now these two fractions are similar. They have the same denominator. So I can readily combine them okay, without thinking of the least common multiple. Okay, so if I combine them, okay, combining them, so I can extend this bar, I will have plus 1 plus cosine of theta. Again, I combine these two fractions because they are similar. So now we will have negative cosine of theta cancel out with the positive of cosine of theta. Okay, and this now is equivalent to 1 plus 1 is 2 over sine of theta okay but this is equivalent to 2 times cosecant of theta 1 over sine theta is cosecant of theta so this whole thing is 2 times the cosecant of theta so we're done we have shown that this thing at the left the left hand side is equivalent to the right hand side okay because we have manipulated the left hand side into 2 times cosecant of theta. Let's move on to the third trigonometric identity. For the third one, we're going to show that 2 times sine squared theta minus 1 all over sine theta cosine theta is equivalent to tangent of theta minus cotangent of theta. What I'm going to do is manipulate the right hand side because I know that if I manipulate the right hand side I will get sine theta times cosine of theta in the denominator. So let's try to do that. Tangent of theta is sine theta all over cosine theta. While cotangent of theta is cosine of theta all over sine theta. Okay? So if we combine these two fractions together, we have sine theta times cosine of theta as what I've mentioned earlier from my insight. So for the first term we will have sine theta cosine theta divided by cosine theta is sine theta times another sine theta we will have sine squared theta and similarly here we will have cosine squared theta. Okay. The numerator on the left hand side of this problem has only the sine function, okay, in particular 2 sine squared theta minus 1. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this, get rid of the cosine function. But thankfully we can do that because we know the fundamental trigonometric identities. In particular, cosine of the cosine squared theta can be written as 1 minus sine squared of theta okay and let's just copy the denominator sine theta times cosine theta now our numerator will become sine squared of theta minus minus this one sine squared theta it will become positive so we will have 2 sine squared of theta and we will have here the minus 1 at the end. And for the denominator, we will just copy it. Sine theta times cosine of theta. And we are done. We have shown that the right-hand side is equivalent to... Okay, it's, this is equivalent to the left-hand side. Okay, and we are done. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.